Businessman Farron Lawrence urged graduates of the Advanced Vocational Educational Center, AVIC, to use their skills and search out new business opportunities in St. Kitts and Nevis, rather than just looking for a job. Mr. Lawrence was the guest speaker at AVIC's graduation ceremony held recently at the St. Kitts Marriott Resort. Most of us in St. Kitts and Nevis, we, we, you know, we get appliances. We get a stove, we get a refrigerator, we have a washing machine, we have a dryer. These are expensive items. But you know what we do? We work them for three years, then they're no good, then we have to buy another one. We need a business that can offer maintenance services for appliances. Every six months you go into a, you go into a home, you maintain that appliance. What we see is that those same appliances can last you 10 years with proper maintenance. And it's a business. And that's the best form of business. The best form of business is where you have an established relationship and you go to that person to do that servicing regularly. That's work you have, you can depend on. You don't have to go out to look for new work. Just servicing those, those persons that are looking for your help. So we, we have to start thinking outside of the box in terms of finding solutions for problems that everybody are having. I, I went to, event, to an event the other day. It was high day, it was in a tent, and everybody's trying to stand by the door of the tent. It is so hot. Why not rent mobile air conditioned units to these 10, to these ten people? The, the air conditioned units, you can pick up, walk with it, so then all those tents, all those tent rentals can also come with air-conditioned rentals. Meanwhile, Education Minister Dr. Jeffrey Hanley noted that 62% of the trainees who enrolled in the program two years ago did not complete in order to graduate. Over the last two years, 138 trainees enrolled in the program with just 52 trainees graduating with us today. Graduates, I commend you for your tenacity and high level of dedication. Thank you, parents and family members, for supporting them throughout this journey. However, it is imperative that the administration examines the reason why 62% of this cohort did not successfully complete the program. To remain relevant and a viable option for our citizens, AVEC must engage in periodical self-examination and assessments. It must hold to its policy, which is geared towards understanding the industry's needs and making sure of the alignment between its skills development programs and the industry priorities. There were also addresses from AVEX management and Ambassador Michael Lin, resident ambassador of Republic of China, Taiwan. 52 trainees graduated from AVEX this year. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.